Hey, good morning. How many of you played at least once Angry Birds? Raise your hand. Come on, you don't be shy. We all have our guilty pleasures. I'll tell you mine. Huh? What about Candy Crush? Oh, good. What about chess? Okay. The, the lights are so bad here, I barely see some hands up. But anyway, you know, chess is that ancient game that our grandparents used to play in parks, you know? They, they have to sit in front of a table and they have to think sometimes half an hour or even more for just one move. They have to think ahead. They have to anticipate moves in order to make the king from the table abdicate. You know that. I once played the same game for six hours. No sound. Quiet. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that us, chess lovers, are some geeks who cannot say hello until anticipating the next three or four lines, right? I actually am the only kid I know who ran away from a camp because there was no one to play chess with, and we had to talk. Anyway, don't give me that look. It's not me, the one who thinks is a bird shooting pigs, okay? Probably you ask yourselves, why do I talk about chess when you know by now that my speech is about volunteering? Well, it's because I'm the living proof that even someone like me who finds it really very, very, very difficult to step, I'm not allowed to do that, but to step outside the comfort zone, even we have a chance. From time to time, someone comes to me and says, well, look, I'd love to volunteer, but I don't know how. I'm, I'm no good. I should learn something first. And anyway, what, what should I say to a child that has cancer? And they give up. Never giving up. That's probably the most precious lesson I've learned during my volunteering actions. It's been three years now since I've decided to combine my passion for logics, for anticipation, with my love for kids, together with a great idea, which is not mine, it's my partner, who is a well-known activist for patients' rights. A camp, not any kind of camp, a special one. We call it Magic Camp, and it's a camp for children with cancer. We don't really have statistics in Romania about how many kids suffer from cancer. But each time I go to Marie Curie, Oncological Institute, Bucharest, Funden, I see more and more kids that suffer of this disease. I knew a little bit about kids. My partner knew a little bit about cancer. So four months later, we opened the gates of the camp for 30 kids in the first year, for 18, the second one. This year, we're expecting 120 kids. When people ask me, Mel, look, what is Magic Camp about? What is it? It's pretty hard for me to answer in just one line. You know me by now. I anticipate the next 20 questions. What I know for sure is that Magic Camp, it's not about cancer. Allow me to give you just five answers and I hope you'll get the idea about why volunteering can change lives, even yours. Magic Camp, it's about joy. Mm -hmm. There's nothing in the world for me like the laughter of a child, especially a laughter long locked. All the parties that you've missed, all the fun that was taken from you is brought back in the camp. Fighting with water balloons, eating ice cream without hands, painting with your feet. All this makes you forget about needles and hospital and pain. Joy is when every part of you that hurts finds shelter in a huge laughter. Children and volunteers all together. Joy brings magic to their lives. Magic Camp, it's about caring about empathy. Asking a seven years old to be quiet can be quite challenging. I mean, you know, silence is not really in their repertoire. Not having to ask for it because they're already quiet. That's a small miracle. Or just empathy. They understand better than anyone else 
the need for rest. So by the sleeping time in the afternoon, it was as if the camp was abandoned. No sound. Knowing when to stay still. Understanding the value of listening and the power of a hug in times of despair. This is what connects children. Children with volunteers, volunteers together. Empathy is when you don't really need words anymore. Only the hearts are connected. Magic Camp, it's about friendship. When you spend a lot of your young life in a hospital, your friends are mostly doctors. Nice doctors. Still, you need someone to share secrets with. Someone who would not laugh at you when you talk about riding rainbows. Someone you could tell about how hard it is for your mom to see you like this and how strong you have to be for her. Friendship is when no matter how furious the sea, the ship moves to the shore because everyone in the boat, weak or strong, children or volunteer, paddle together. And then when safely near the fire on the beach, they sing and dance and hold their hands. Friendship brings magic to their lives. Magic Camp, it's about hope. Sometimes cancer, takes a part of you that you think you cannot live without. You're trying to imagine your future, but you can't anymore. This courage and despair become your friends. When Andre saw Philip, our trainer in archery, getting down from his adapted car that he drove by himself, then aiming the arrow and laughing and doing tons of things that he couldn't believe possible anymore. This is when we saw in his eyes Hope rising. Our volunteers encouraged him to ask questions, to see that you can still have a fulfilled life even in a wheelchair. Hope is when even if it's raining and you don't seem to find an umbrella, you know that eventually the sun will come up. Magic Camp, it's about courage. Yes, Magic Camp, it's about courage. Little by little, the poison that goes through your veins to heal you ties you to the ground, and you forget how high you can get. Leo, he was 10. And this for him was Kilimanjaro. The day he reached that summit was the happiest in his little life. When I looked at the volunteers, they were all crying. They wiped their tears and smiled and then told Leo what a huge step that was. Courage is when you know how difficult the next step will be and still you do it. Sometimes a child you held in your arms is dying and believe me, it hurts like hell. It takes courage to honor his memory by dedicating yourself to those alive and fighting. Your courage, your courage brings magic to their lives. In chess, you have to think a lot and you have to win all the games to be a champion. In life, champions are not those who win all the time, but those who in the time they have, they decide to make the place where they live in a better one for themselves and for the other. And this always, always happened by sharing time, knowledge, trust, love. As a player and a champion, at least until now, let me give you a tip. You may learn a lot with your brain, but you learn faster with your heart. And I'm sure you hear a lot, grow up. And I'd say, take care of what you grow down in your hearts. Up here, you'll be fine if you decide to share the seeds you've planted during your volunteering actions. They will bring together hope, friends, courage, empathy, joy, inspiration, magic. It's your move now, 
And I have a tricky question for you. Think about it. What is going to be the next move of your heart? What kind of champion do you want to be? Good luck, champions.